Hi everybody and welcome to April's Stationery Selection Unboxing. I hope that everybody is having a good April. I'm really excited about this box. I think there's a lot of really good stuff in it and I can't wait to jump into it with you. I do want to mention that April's box had a collaboration with Cute Things from Japan and I'm sure most of you have already heard of this store before but I will make sure everything is linked down below but I just wanted to add that um, the stationery selection was able to collaborate for one of the items in this month's box. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Here's a list of all of the items as always. The first item that we have here is the Zebra Click Art Marker and it's got this little um, protector thing on there. So let's just go ahead and take that off. And I have a dark brown color. I'm not sure if the colors vary this month, but I personally have the brown color. I hope that's focusing. So I will test that at the end. Again, we have the um, business card. I don't know if Mitz puts these in everybody's boxes every month, but we get them. And I'm very grateful because I always save them and hand them out to people who are interested in the kit. And then we have the Cute Things from Japan business card. And I'll just hold this here if you want to pause it so that you can get that information. But I'll leave everything linked down below so that you don't have to worry about that. Next, we have this really cute paper pad. And it has a mug theme. How pretty are these? I hope the whole thing is in frame. And these are great to jot down little quick notes or use them as tippins in your journals or planners. And the colors are really sweet. I think, yep, I think that's all of them. So there's a bunch of pages in there, which is great. There are 20 pages in here, I think. So that's really, really fun. I'm just going to move this over here so we can see everything laid out. Next we have this Delphonics pen. Now this is a really fun, chunky looking thing. Um, it's clickable. I really hope I'm focused right here. <laughs> um, it's clickable and it's just a regular ballpoint pen. But I like how thick it is. It feels really nice and substantial in the hand. And it's wood, so that makes it a little more sustainable. It's not using any kind of plastic or anything, so that's really, really nice. I like that touch. Next, we have these metal clips, and there are three different designs. Of course, the sun is going to come out. <laughs> I hope it doesn't mess up the image too bad. So here are the designs. Really, really fun. And they're very lightweight. I do want to uh, note that, that these are super duper lightweight. I don't think there's a brand on these. They're just notated as aluminum clips. And they're super lightweight, but the springs are really, really tight. So they're going to hold the journal pages down really, really well. And I like that there's varying designs as well. Next, we have some postcards from the creator Nishishiku, which we have had in the past. And I love these postcards because they're great for post-crossing um, or using them as tip-ins in your journals or just sending them to friends. These designs are really, really sweet. So I think there's two of each design in there. So that's a big bang for your buck. Next we have some washi tape from Sunny Sunday, and I am a huge fan <laughs> of Sunny Sunday's um, collections. I love the look. I'm just going to open this up so I can show it to you. Oh, of course I opened the wrong side. And this has a very industrial type look, but all of their stuff does. But it looks to be black and white, so that will go with everything. And then the design repeats right there. It's got some ticket feel, and it's just really cool. I really like this a lot. I love anything Sunny Sunday does. So I love that. So we've got a really nice washi. 
And this is the item that I think um, Cute Things from Japan helped um, helped us get this month. It's this Band-Aid um, washi sticker roll, which I don't own anything like this. But it's in this cute little box, so nothing frays, because I think these are like um, peelable flake stickers, I think. And then there's a little thing right here that you peel off. And I'm not sure where it begins. I think it's right here. But there are these really cool stickers. And those designs are really, really fun. And like I said, I think that's why it has this little box because these probably tend to flake off. So I really like the designs of those. That's really, really fun. That's new. We've never had anything like that before. And then the last item, the one I'm most excited about because I think most of you know why, this will stay in my stash forever. This is never going to break. Well, I hope it doesn't break. Uh, washi tape is going to run out. The pens are going to dry out. I'll use all these papers. I'll use all these postcards. I'll use all these stickers. The clips will stay in my um, office forever. And this will stay in my office forever. This is a mini date stamp. And I am so excited. So how this works is that you put the little ink pad in and it inks itself and then you stamp, um, stamp it down. So let's just go ahead and put this little ink pad in and you're going to slide it in with the ink facing down right here and it just clicks in right there and let's see if we can get the right date. What is today's date? Um, today's the 17th maybe? 18th. 18th of April? 2019. Looks like this was already tested. Oh, I'm running the ink across it. I'm probably scratching the ink pad all up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so maybe you have to hold it down like this. Yes, you have to hold it down like this to put the date in. No wonder it was scraping the ink all up. Goodness gracious. It's a good thing we're learning on camera in front of everybody, Skylar. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. All right. Let it go. Push it down. The 18th of April, 2019. So please note that when you're trying to do the date, you don't do it in the regular position. You have to pull it down and then spin it. And then when you release it, it sticks into the ink pad and you're able to do that. And I like the size of this. This is very a very good size. I wonder if this is like a cap or anything. No. So that's trash. So let's test this pen. Of course, I have to write completely horizontally, right? The stationary... Selection, April 2019. Feels really nice. Now this pen is known for never drying out, so that's really interesting and fun. That's what the notes are saying. And then we'll try this Delphonics. Let's see how this pen writes. What is the nib on this? This is 1.0, so this is pretty fat. Um, I like a super, super fine nib, especially for ballpoint, but this is probably because the pen is so chunky, but I really like it. This is not something that's going to get lost in the pen, in the pen bag. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.